talk craft. What did you <laughs> learn from Lee Strasberg? And what did you learn from Stella? And what did you learn from Clifford? Overall, it's all the same thing I learned. Oh, okay. I, yeah, it's all the same. I learned, you know, several things that are key. One is listen. Listen to what the other person is saying. The Be most important tool an actor well, has in his arsenal. Because it's all living in your ears, you know. It's all happening there. Your reaction is going to happen if you're actually listening. Being present mm -hmm. to the circumstance that you are in, whatever it may be. Right. Uh, so those three things overall. And I guess the key thing in acting is relax. But truly know what you're doing mm -hmm. is really key. <laughs> And that comes through listening and, and reading the play over and over. And that's another thing um, I learned. So there were really like four things. is to read, to fill your mind and your imagination with all the information that you can uh, so that it can grow and expand and become a tool. So your body is your instrument. This is it. This is what we have. You have to realize also what your strength and your weakness is. I'm never going to do Shakespeare. It's just something I'm, number one, I'm not that interested in it. And number two, it's not me. Uh, I like stylized things, definitely, but it doesn't interest me enough. But what really interests me is certain writers and certain people. So I try to go where my strength is. I notice, you know, for me, big hospital words with being a doctor and the book, it's not, I'm never, I'm never going to be good at that. I don't even want to be good at it. So you learn what you like, what you don't like, what you're good at, what you're not good at. When I prepare, sometimes something will come so naturally to me. Even the substitutions and the action in the scene. See, classes, I think a lot of people become professional students, and that doesn't work. Working in a class and working on a set is completely different. I've done so many shorts, and I've done so many independent films. I've done probably at least 25, 30, 40 shorts, and another 20, 25, 30 independent films, maybe 20. And uh, what I realize is that, number one, come prepared most of the time. They, you know more than they do, or at least I felt like I knew. And I realized after a while that I was older than everybody and I did know more than they did. So what I had to do was to be kind, to be generous. If I felt that something needed to be done, I would say to the director off to the side very quietly, hey, don't you think you should do the hands when I, do, when I pick up those poker chips? Wouldn't that be great? And he said yes. And they usually go, oh, that's a great idea. Or we're not doing this because. Go to your community theater where you live. Find out if this is what you really want. The fundamentals of acting are in theater. I don't care what anybody says. You have to know what the stage is. Once you, you find that geographical area, downstage, upstage, upstage right, upstage left, etc., you start to get a feel for what it means to create that world. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling them, Hollywood, you'll get there. but. Hollywood is full of dreamers, full of people that are not going to, they're not serious. They want to be famous, and that's different than being an actor. An actor is someone who wants to interpret, who wants to take the written word and bring it to life with the help of a director, with the help of other actors. Don't come here and find yourself getting hurt and being involved with the wrong crowd. Start at home. Get that going. They need you there. Once you start doing the classics or you start doing uh, theater, then you might decide you want to write. You might want to direct. You might want to do something different. Then you might start find that there are film uh, enthusiasts there that will help you. That, to me, is more important than coming to a, a, a new place and spending your money and finding yourself on the street with a, a difficult uh, uh, row to hoe, so to speak. And so how did you memorize that? Did you have somebody work with you every day? I had a, a girlfriend that was on the soaps. She, had, she was a soap diva. And when I met her, I didn't know, I didn't know who she was. I was nighttime. Um, <laughs> so she was the one that, t that really said to me, you know, your brain is a muscle. And if you work it out, it's going to get stronger. You know, the one thing that I've learned, too, uh, as an actor, and a young actor is that every actor you work with is an equal. They're no more famous than you are. They're no whatever. They're your peer. You're working. You're bringing this uh, project to life and you're infusing it with your energy. 
than somebody's little project. I've done uh, short films that the writers or the directors have gone on to have amazing careers. So you never know. You you can't be too full of yourself. There's got to be a lot of humility mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. And yet, when you're approached with something that is so great and you're like, you truly want it, what helped me get over that was your precise thought that I said, wow, I'm being brought in. That's a win right there. And I'm getting a chance. I'm going to do the best I can with this character and just w let the chips fall where they may and not be so attached to the outcome. What is text analysis? Well, the writer writes a script and then the actor gets the script and then the actor has to figure out what the heck the writer wrote. And then we have to break it down into beats and we have to figure out what we want. And it's a problem that actors have because actors... Um, want to act, they want to be emotional, they want to do all of this stuff, but sometimes uh, they're not servicing the material. And Roy was big time into servicing the material, figuring out what the material was about, putting yourself into it, and then bringing the best choices, hot choices, from yourself, from your personal life, into the material. So that's text analysis, going to follow actors forever. And you get better and better and better the more you do it, the more you practice. So what's a hot choice? Like when you say hot choices. Well, if I'm supposed to find somebody that I hate in a scene, so I find somebody in my life that has caused me problems, they could, it could be from 10 years ago. Could be, I used to use, for example, I used to use an actor, upstaged me in a movie who came on to my girlfriend at the time and was just a miserable human being. I used to use him all the time. It was great using him because I hated him, it was right there. <laughs> and then he died a horrible death. So in death, he still made problems for me. But that's a hot choice, finding somebody yes. that you can use. And it might be somebody like right now in your life or something that happened right now in your life that you can bring into a scene and all of a sudden you have a choice that makes you come alive and you don't have to act. It's coming from right with you. What are beats? You're playing a moment. The moment is very clear about what you want and then the moment changes and you have to try to find something else. So what I do and what a lot of actors do is where the moment stops, you draw whatever this is. I'm not a line, yes, yeah, or a little whatever slash, that thing is, slash, slash. Yeah. right. And then the new moment happens and that's another beat. So you have a beat and then you have another beat and you try to then one beat follows the other, or if it doesn't, then you have a pause or a transition to try to figure out what you want. And it's all kind of in the writing. The writers don't know how the actors are going to take charge of it. That's our job. But the writers are clear about where it's going. We have to figure out how to make that happen. What are three tips that you would give young actors that are starting out? Take care of yourself your body, your mind, your spirit. You don't have to be 100%. You can be broken, it's okay. But don't be hard on yourself. Also, don't make excuses for yourself where you can better yourself, better yourself. This is, as they say, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Give yourself time. Have outside interest as well. Be an interesting person just, you know, as a person. Study, know your craft. Look at people who work, admire, go to the theater, support the theater, support the arts. Be an artist. Travel the world if you can, and if you can't, travel your this town LA has got so many wonderful cultural things that we are not aware of Thursdays Tuesdays and Thursdays and in the summer at the Hollywood Bowl from 10 to 12 they have free uh, uh, rehearsals so you could sit in and watch the Philharmonic rehearse for that night's show boom I didn't fantastic. have to pay for that read if you can't take acting classes then read read acting books you know watch on on YouTube watch this on YouTube learn learn from people don't see other people as competition the competition lies within you because when you walk in the room they're not in the room with you unless you bring them and honor yourself it's a creative art that is a lifetime people talk about technique Te talk about technique the best technique first of all technique is a way an actor should learn how to work for himself but the best technique is the technique you can't see. It has to be invisible. But people go in there with their preconce preconceived line readings. Uh, you know, everything starts to feel so performed. Mm -hmm. They start mm -hmm. performing 
And then you've got the other problem. Sometimes they think the casting director is going to play with them. No, they're not going to play with you. <laughs> they're not. But they're, you, but, wait, they're not. They're not I there mean, from my benefit. I mean, listen, some of them oh. are some of them are fantastic readers, you know. But not most of them, you know, are sh they're shy. They don't whatever. They but, don't want but, you to touch but they th them. They <laughs> think they're going to play the scene with that person when the person's going ba 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 ba. Well, you can't go ba 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 back. So it makes me crazy, you know. But I think it's so important. That, you know, yes. Do the homework, do all the work, but learn how to let it go. Because if you don't let it go, there's no spontaneity in the right. work. Uh, it's and kept. that's where the magic shows up. That's the up, magic, right? That's why I say give yes. it to yes. the spirit. This, giving it to the yes. spirit is yes. the icing on the cake. Oh, yes. What is your opinion on actors who try to get other actors to agree with them in a scene? Well, they're doing their job. <laughs> you know, my job is to get you to do what I want you to do. I mean, I have an intention. It's just like here, like you have some intention, right? If that's their thing, that's great. But that may not be what my character wants to do. So, okay, now we have a conflict. Conflict makes for drama, makes for comedy, makes for everything, right? I think that a lot of uh, people, when we're young, and we're working with people that are big, like they've got a lot of experience behind them, you know, you don't want to get taken by their intention, and all of a sudden you're on their train. You actually have to know, like, this person's really strong, you know? It's like getting into a boxing ring. You're in that match, and I think young people need to know, like, don't let other actors sweep you away. Come in there strong with your intentions. So sometimes people don't even know uh, there's a certain attractiveness about them, a certain kind of beauty, a certain kind of handsomeness, and and to really own that, you know, uh, it's fascinating when you're that, especially when you're the leading man. They're they're going to expect that from you. Come in. Own that sexual energy. Intimidate the room with your strength and your power. There's nothing worse when you see it, and if they just embraced it, even though it may not be comfortable, it's wonderful that they don't operate from ego, mm -hmm. but they have to know to that's... To know what, 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 you, what yes. you do. Yes. Yeah. To yes. put it in the body and own it and don't worry about it. You went in, you auditioned, you, you worked on the script or your sides, now you booked the job. What more do you bring to the part now that you've booked it? Because in audition, sometimes you don't have a lot of time to prepare. So now that you've booked it, what kind of work do you do on it? Well, I go out and start shopping first of all. <laughs> <laughs> now I can buy, no, no. Um, I continue to break it down because you know, the truth is the material that you get in auditions isn't necessarily the same thing you're gonna get because you get all these rewrites you get the yellow pages the blue pages the nana pages make sure that i rest no alcohol no bad food i try to be as healthy and as present as possible know my stuff i'm always camera ready i mean mm -hmm. in the sense that i know all my lines being in the moment and allowing yourself I never memorize cues, and I don't wait for you to stop. I mean, I, I don't even know when you're going to stop. I just know I'm in the moment, and I feel it. You're moving in the organic But your your emotions, your uh, words are bringing me into the scene, and, I, and I'm reacting. And that's the key word. We're reactors. 